Do you know what you need to review by year end? Well, in this excerpt from what to review in your business in the new year, we go through some of the key points on what it is that you need to be looking for before year end. So, um, you know, you, well, when you're setting up your budget, a lot of times you kind of look at last year and, you know, tweak tweak the numbers to say, okay, you know, this is what you know, I, I did last year, so I'm going to budget for for next year the same thing. Well, you, you're going to have to look at it a little bit differently um, with with these goals in mind and, and and where these costs are going to be. And you know, we're in a period right now of of inflation, and you know costs from two years ago are not what they are today. So, mm -hmm. you know, you need to take a, you know, a good look at, at what your budget numbers are um, and not just, you know, carbon copy from the last year. Yeah. Yeah. Really take a look at, at what some of that is. And I think it's a great exercise anyway, because it gives you an opportunity or makes you take an opportunity to really look at some of your expenses and see if there's ways of cost cutting um, to help increase that bottom line. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's when you're going through the budget, it's, you know, you're looking at these different line items and, and, and seeing ways to improve, improve those numbers. And yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess another thing outside of goal setting, there's a couple other things that come to mind. Um, it, in looking at a new year. Um, mm -hmm. And one of those things is your contracts and agreements that you have um, outstanding. What in your mind, Sean, what are some of the examples of these types of contracts agreements that should yes. be looked at? So, you know, there, there's, there's, you know, in, in contracts, you probably have, you know, agreements with, with customers, vendors, um, employment contracts. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a good time to, you know, kind of review all those things. Um, especially if, 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 you know, when, when you're mixing in some of these goals, you know, perhaps there's, you know, changes in how much you're charging your, your ongoing customers. Maybe there's, um, you know, there's different uh, terms you want to you want to have with customers or vendors. So, reviewing these 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 items, uh, talking with your attorney in the best way to um, to make these changes in the contracts. Um, you know, getting them set up and and reviewed and adjusted. And mm -hmm. you you may not have had some of these contracts in place before, but now you need those created mm -hmm. um, to to kind of solidify those those. Uh, those uh relationships right um, some other documents um you may maybe you're wanting to implement a retirement plan so you need to have a, re uh, a retirement plan document put in place um other you know insurance agreements uh you know reviewing those and having those put in place um your uh employee manual reviewing that and, and seeing if there's anything that needs to be uh, adjusted and changed. In that. Yeah. Updated. Yeah. One yeah. other one might be also um, merchant services, you know, taking yeah, a look yeah. at your agreement with your merchant service provider and whether or not that that still makes sense. If there's been any changes to that, meaning um, fee increases, mm -hmm. uh, monthly costs that maybe yep. they, that they didn't, fully tell you about or slipped under the <laughs> radar <laughs> in the past yeah. um, it's a good time to review that as well yeah and and some of that stuff you may you may have identified while you're going through your goals in your budget and you know you know with with those those uh, adjustments and pieces you know there's there's the back back end documentation and and, and uh, that need to be adjusted so yeah um, yeah yeah so then the uh, next thing that comes to mind is employees. Um, you're starting off a new year. Um, many people um, review their employees on an annual basis, which they probably should be doing. Um, mm -hmm. And now may be a great time to begin that process of, you know, staff evaluations or performance reviews or uh hourly or salary rate 
increases or identifying potential bonuses for the year, depending on maybe some of the goals that are set. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, going back through and you know identifying well, when was the last time you've done performance valuations for your for your uh, employees, um, you know, generally that you should you should do it the same time of the year every year. Um, some companies do it multiple times a year, mm-hmm. um, so like a six, you know, every six months or quarterly reviews. Mm-hmm. So making sure that you that you you have that in place and identifying the appropriate time to do that as well. Cause some businesses are seasonal or mm-hmm. you may, um, so you may have, you may do those performance evaluations after a busy time um, versus, you know, during the middle of busy time, but maybe that's an, more appropriate for, for your business. So just identifying when to do them and making sure you're doing them regularly. Yeah. And I think it's an opportunity to, to see what help you have for the upcoming year um, and what are their levels and where do things, where are their holes really too? You know, it's like maybe you've seen a massive amount of growth and you have a whole department that needs extra help now because of mm-hmm. those things that have changed. Um, you know, when you're in the middle of it, uh, it's very difficult to uh, fill those spots. But if you have an opportunity to say, okay, well, we're expecting a certain growth in this maybe niche area, because that was part of our goals for the upcoming year. What does that look like in as far as how, how our staff, right? Will we need to hire somebody now because mm-hmm. We are niching in this particular area and we need more help that it, it we're going to see this exponential growth because of it. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. a, it's a good time to review that. Yeah, these evaluations are not are shouldn't be one sided. You should also be getting feedback from your employees as well, as to as to how you know how they self evaluate their performance and what their goals are. So you can find out a lot of really interesting and important information by you know offering them the ability to kind of you know provide that information to you. You may find somebody that's really interested in a particular aspect of the business that currently isn't working in that. And, you know, give them an opportunity to delve into something else, especially if they're, if they're really good performing employee, um, you want to give them every opportunity to, um, to try different things and succeed. Yeah. And grow. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of employees that are leaving companies now um, and, you know, offering opportunities for your employees to to have more input and insight into the company um, really, you know, goes goes towards employee morale. Morale and stability, um, stability of, you know, the turnover of the employees, as well as the the stability of the company because yeah. you know you may not be able to run the whole company yourself. So you know these yeah, people, exactly. the people that you have on your team are important. So yeah, exactly. You know, taking and, and the time to hear them, and it 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 takes a lot of time and cost to to hire and train new employees. And yes, um, the more you can keep good employees, <laughs> it's it's the better it better helps your bottom line at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So the, one of the last things that uh, comes to mind uh, is our customers, you know, um, and touching base with them. Uh, mm-hmm. Now that the holiday season is over, you know, when is a good time to do that with customers, you know, figuring out and identifying, you know, customer surveys or customer uh, feedback, whether yeah. that be ongoing throughout, you know, um, the year, or is it, you know, one, one time that, you know, there's a, there's a customer feedback period, um, that, you know, something like that. So, um, any thoughts on customer, the customer aspect? Yeah. I mean, just getting, getting some sort of feedback of, of their experience with working with you, um, and, 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 and how you're, you know, you're performing, delivering on your customer expectations. Um, you know, it's always, 
it's always important to to understand what their experience is like and making sure that you're you know you you're knocking it out of the park with your customers you know you you want you want that you want those repeat customers you want them to keep coming back you want them to refer you um so getting getting feedback on their experiences is important mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you.